Okay, let's say you want to increase the market share and you've got a product which is good, tested and tried in the market. Now you are in the next stage of increasing the volume. And when you hit the market, your background, your back should be ready in terms of production, capacity to produce and hit the market at the right time with the right volumes and sustain the volumes because when a customer wants the product and you don't have it in stock and you can want to produce, you're creating a vacuum for the competition to come in. And when he comes in, he comes with a cheap copy because he doesn't, he has not gone through the same cost structure for developing the product. It's going to be cheaper than you. You lost the ground. When you want to increase the volume, you need to produce with the equipment behind in the factory and you need to pull the product into the market. You have distributors, you create a structure and say, okay, if you're buying, say for example, trunking, if you're buying 500 meters, I'll give you 50 meters as a bonus. If you're buying 1,000, I'll give you 100. So you are now creating a pool of the product into the distributor and the bonus is for a limited period of time for you to increase the, the market share and also to get the product matured and strong in the market. As you develop the product, you need to increase the volume. As you, as you increase the volume, you increase the, the, the head count and the number of people, your overhead starts increasing as well because it's all tied up together. So you need to increase the volume because you want to sustain the staff and the cost. You maintain the volume with the quality. So there is, a, there is a gap between you and your competition because you're producing quality and you're producing volume at a sustainable price. And you have, you have got the capacity because when you go in the market, you had a slightly higher price because you were the first entrant in the market. The perception that automation reduces employment, to me, it's wrong. Because automation is a key part of industrialization process. When you have an automated robotic wiring machine, for example, to feed the robot wiring machine, you need hundreds and thousands of light fitting bodies to feed. Now to make the light fitting bodies, you have to have the machines working day and night, paint line working day and night, because it's a raw material food for the robotic wiring machine, because the machine only does wiring. The bodies are made in other CNC machine and paint line. Now the, the people who are in the past doing manually, they are redeployed in the same department to do the rest of the process after the machine has done the wiring. Because after the machine has done the wiring, you still need to test, or, or if the machine is not tested, packing, labeling, packing, and going out of the uh, out, out of the company. That means the level of employment is not reduced by increasing one automated machine, but it has stabilized the people who are already working on a more permanent basis rather than reducing the number of employees. In fact, we needed more people after the CNC machine and robotic machine because the volumes increased dramatically. And when you make volumes, you need to sell. Where do you sell? Same in the region. And we started selling all across the region and increase the volume. So the automation actually helped the part of the industrialization and growth of the company. And with the scale of economics, your revenues start increasing. I'll tell you an example, one lighting fitting, we were wiring in 14 seconds. If you do, if you do manually, we were making 200 fittings a day with, with 20 people. Now when you look at automated machine, you're probably producing 1,000 in a day or more. So you can see the quantum increase and leap increase on the volume with the same number of people. So revenue increases, machine is more, more viable, and you can, you can take advantage of the volume and export all over. And I think this is an advantage which you have when you do automation, not shy away from automation and technology.